Let's talk about the signs and symptoms seen in SIADH versus DI. First up is urine output. This is one of the most commonly tested on signs and symptoms. In SIADH, they will have a low urinary output of concentrated urine, where in DI, they'll have a high urinary output of diluted urine. Next, let's look at volume in the body. In SIADH, we'll see fluid volume overload. This leads to water intoxication and weight gain. Where in DI, we see fluid volume deficit. This leads to polydipsia or an increase in thirst, dry mucous membranes, and a decrease in skin turgor. Now for vital signs. In SIADH, we will see an increase in blood pressure called hypertension. Think about it. In SIADH, we are retaining water, so more volume equals more pressure. But in DI, we will see a decreased blood pressure called hypotension. In DI, we are losing water, so less volume equals less pressure. Now let's look at the heart rate in SIADH. We know we have an increased blood pressure, but we will see a decreased heart rate called bradycardia. Think about it. If there is enough circulating volume in the body, we don't need the heart pushing out more volume, so the heart rate will be decreased. But in DI, we see a decrease in blood pressure and an increase in heart rate called tachycardia. In DI, we are dehydrated, so the heart has to work harder to push fluid forward to the body since it's lacking fluid. Next, we'll look at urine-specific gravity. A normal urine-specific gravity is 1.005 to 1.030. Now, SIADH will have a high urine-specific gravity greater than 1.030. You can remember this by the memory trick, concentrated urine makes the numbers curve up. And patients with DI will have a low urine-specific gravity less than 1.005. You can remember this by the memory trick, diluted urine makes the numbers go down. Next, we'll look at sodium. In SIADH, we will see hyponatremia, or a low serum sodium less than 135 milliequivalents per liter. Remember, SIADH thinks soaked, so the water is diluting the sodium, making it appear low. Where in DI, we will see hypernatremia or high serum sodium greater than 145 milliequivalents per liter. Remember, DI think dehydrated, so the lack of water makes the sodium very concentrated, making the sodium appear high. If you want the rest of this video, check out Nurse in the Making Plus. This includes access to our growing video library, interactive worksheets that go with each video, and practice questions. You can get access to Nurse in the Making Plus with the Complete Nursing School Bundle. Click the link to the Complete Nursing School Bundle and join thousands of other future nurses using Nurse in the Making Plus. You got this, future nurse.